The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number seven, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August fifteenth, nineteen sixty-eight, in Montreal, Canada. <laughs> Bhutyanam Adharmasya Sadatmanam Sijamaham. And last night we have discussed that uh, how the Supreme Personality of Godhead he descends. Uh, what is the reason of his descending on these material platform that we have uh, partially discussed last time, <coughs> that although he is the supreme authority of uh, all uh, energies, although he is unborn, although he is the lord of all planets, or all creation, material creation and spiritual creation, he comes. Ajopita Nabhyatma Dutana Nishrupita Prakitim Samadhisthaya Sambhavami Atmavani. He comes uh, not being forced by the laws of material nature, but he comes out of his own energy. This point we have discussed last night. Now, the next point is, why does he come? That is explained in the next verse, that jada jada hi dharmasya plan As soon as there is discrepancy in the matter of discharging occupational duty, I purposely translate the word dharma as occupation and duty. Everyone has got occupation and duty. Even the Bhagavatam also confirms the Katapumvi Vijasrishta Varnasthama Vibhadasa Sanusthitasya Dharmasya the same word, dharma, sānusthitasya, prescribed duty, sānusthitasya dharmasya, sānusiddhi, the perfection. Uh, how you are uh, perfected by discharging your occupational duty, how it is tested, that tested Sānusthitasya uh, dharmasya samsiddhi, your occupational duty will be perfect when samsiddhi paritosana, when you satisfy the Supreme Lord by your uh, occupational duty. That is how. Now let us consider what is our occupational duty. I purposely do not translate this word dharma uh, as religion. Religion is uh, imperfect uh, conception uh, of the word dharma. In the dictionary we find religion means uh, a particular type of faith. But karma does not mean that. Karma means natural opposition. That is called karma. At several times I uh, explained this word, karma, in this class. Just like a, a heat of the fire. Without heat, a fire has no meaning. Wherever there is fire, there is heat and light. Therefore, heat and light 
is the dharma or religion of man. That means fire cannot change its dharma. As, as this dharma, as we generally understand by the word faith, that we can change. Today I am Hindu, I can become tomorrow a Christian. You are Christian today, you can become, uh, I mean to say, Hindu or Muslim tomorrow. So, this faith can be changed, but the, this dharma, as I explain, that uh, natural sequence, natural occupation or natural uh, uh, intimately connection, just like the fire, heat and uh, life, this cannot be changed. Either the fire is in America or the fire is in India or the fire is in Russia. The heat and light is there. That is actually the God. Now here Krishna says that jada jada hi dharmasya prani bhavati bhav. As soon as uh, there is discrepancy in the discharge of that natural, uh, I would say, sequence of the living entity. Abhutthanam uh, adharma. Abhutthanam means uh, uprising of unnatural activity or unnatural occupation, which is not foreign. Abhutthanam adharma sa tada at that time, atmanam tal sriyama. Sriyama means I descend or appear. Uh, now, the, this sequence of dharma is explained in the last paragraph, I mean to say, not last, in the last chapter, uh, 67. Uh, verse of the 18th chapter. The Lord says that Sarva uh, Dharmaan Purishpach. You just give up all kinds of uh, occupation and duty or religiosity. We have created all kinds of religious formula. The so Krishna says that you give up all kinds of religious forms. But what is to be done? The Sarva Dharman Purishtajya Maam Ekam Saranam Daja. You just surrender unto me. That means that surrendering unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the real religion of the living entity. Not that I like a particular type of faith, that is my religion. Religion means when uh, one is trained how to surrender unto the Supreme Personality of God. That is solid. And the Srimad Bhagavatam also is enunciation of uh, the word dharma that sabai punsa paro dharma, that is the best system of religion. Sabai punsa paro dharma, jato bhakti yadhukhaji, by which one is trained to surrender unto the Supreme Personality of God. That is best. Now you can select your own religion. Uh, either you be a Hindu or Muslim or Mohammedan or Buddhist, whatever is life, uh, Srimad Bhagavad does not stop you, but he gives you hint. What is the purpose of religion? The purpose of religion is to uh, uh, develop your love of God. That is real. So here Krishna says, Yes, 
जरा जरा इज है मस्त ग्रैंड एंड सुन देर इज डिकेड ऑफ पीपुल्स लव ऑफ गॉड है दैट मीन्स वेन पीपुल बिकम परगेट ऑलमोस्ट पर बिकॉज एटलीस्ट सम पीपुल रिमेम्बर दैट देर इज गॉड बट जनरली इन दिस एज दे आर फॉरगेट दैट इज धर्मस्थ ग्लानी एंड बाई फॉरगेट इन गॉड द पीपुल हु कैन नॉट बी हैप्पी दैट इज ऑल कैन ऑफ कॉ पीपुल आर थिंकिंग दैट द गॉड इज देर we have no obligation to god there is no god this sort of thinking will never make the people happy and actually it is happy they have become atheistic the modern civilization is godless but uh, people are not happy that was a uh, god or his representative come when people forget the relationship with god so real religion is uh, to understand what is our relationship with god and then the relationship is as it is found in the bhagavad gita and confirmed by a great acharya like lord chaitanya lord chaitanya immediately enunciates the constitutional position of believing it the sanatan goshani inquired from him that who am i why i am always in miserable condition three times of miserable condition so in answer to this question who am i or who are we all is living entity sri chaitanya mahaprabhu immediately answered that jivan swarup hai nitya krishna ka the real identity of the living entity is that he is eternally sarvanta god who should not understand this word servant in the uh, meaning of materialistic servant to become servant of god is a great position that is not ordinary position just like people try to get some government service government service that is also servant to become servant why or people try to get some service in some established farm well reputed business farm what that service is comfortable there is great profit in such kind of service so if people are satisfied by getting a government service or service in some good establishment they just think of that if you become servant of god then what is your position because god is the and government of all god so to become servant of god we are servant of god constitutionally just like chaitanya mahaprabhu said jive swarup hai nitya krishna da but at the present moment i am thinking that i am master and not master this is for my actually i am servant but i am thinking master everyone is trying to lord it over the material nature according to his capacity a controller master he is trying to be but actually he is position he is servant so when he forget he is servitor say that is all dharma sat glan discrepancy of his natural uh, position
Dharmasya. Now another point of dharma is as Vishnu uh, Balabi Vidyabhushan is this time here is dharmasya vidukta sab glani vinas. Now this is ordinary sense of religion. Just like uh, uh, everyone has got some scripture. The Hindus, they have got Vedic scriptures. The Muslims, they have got uh, Quran. The Christians, they have got Bible, Old Testament, New Testament. Similarly, uh, there are many other uh, religious sects. They have got their own scripture. So, uh, Baladi Buddhavasana says that Vedaktasya Dharmasya. Dharma means the rules and regulations as they are prescribed in the scripture. Just like state law, state law there are some rules and regulations in the law book, in the statute book of the particular state. Similarly, dharma, another meaning of dharma is it is the law of God. Maybe differently described in different uh, countries according to uh, different climatic conditions or situation. But uh, in every religious scripture, the uh, obedience to God is uh, in a sense. That is a fact. Uh, no scripture says that there is no God and you are independent. Either it is Bible or uh, Quran or uh, Vedas or even Buddhist literature, Buddhist scripture. Generally, uh, uh, according to Buddha philosophy, there is no soul, no God. But they have to obey Lord Buddha. So there is also God because Lord Buddha is accepted by the uh, Vedic uh, literature, just in the Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a great list of incarnation. And Buddha, Lord Buddha is accepted as one of the incarnations who is appear, who would appear in the few chapters, Kikiteshu Bhavishyat. Buddha Namna Anjana Sutta Kikiteshu Bhavishyat. Now Bhavishyat means he will, he will appear in future because in Srimad Bhagavatam was uh, compiled by that day five thousand years ago. And Lord Buddha appeared about two thousand six hundred years ago. Therefore, before the appearance of Lord Buddha, this Srimad Bhagavata was written. This is called Shastra. Because there is accurate date and accurate calculation, everything is there. Buddha Nama Anjana Sutta Kikiteshu Bhavishyat. That is Mara's name also given there, Anjana Sutta. And Kikiteshu means Gaya Pradesh. In India, there is a province uh, called Bihar. In that province, there is a district, Gaya. In that district, uh, Lord Buddha appeared. Uh, Lord appeared in uh, uh, Bihar province. He was Kshatriya, he was Hindu, and he uh, propagated this religion of non-violent Buddhism. He is a specific propaganda was to stop animal killing. So uh, uh, animal killing is recommended in the basic literature. Therefore people wanted to give him basic evidences that in the basic literature animal sacrifice is 
recommended under certain condition. So how do you preach? You are Hindu and you are followers of Vedas. Why you are preaching non value Therefore he has to give up Hindu religion. He said that I do not care for your Vedas. It is my uh, propaganda to stop animal killing. So if you follow me, then you must stop animal killing. Painsa uh, Paramatha. So later on, uh, of course, Lord Buddha was that night by a great emperor, Asho, and therefore practically all Indian population turned to be Buddhi with few exceptions. Then uh, Sankaracharya came and he preached this uh, almost Buddhism. Uh, the Buddha, Lord Buddha preached that uh, there is no God, there is no soul. Uh, this body is combination of matter and if we uh, dissolve this material combination, then there is no more perception of misery or happiness. That is nirvana. That is his philosophy. But later on, uh, Lord, yeah, I mean to say, Hathaja Sankha, he appears and he prays that Brahma Sattva Jagan Mutha. This bodily combination uh, uh, is temporary. Uh, or mitha, he says flatly that it is false. False means, suppose, Vaishnava philosophy they say temporary. Temporary or false you can take on the, on the same category. But uh, Shankaracharya says that Brahma, that spirit soul, Brahma, uh, that is reality. And these uh, external features, or the Brahma or the body, uh, that is false. So anyway, the, here the point is that uh, in any religion there is a conception of worshipping God or symbol of God. Uh, uh, even in Jain philosophy, they also worship Mahavi uh, and Buddha philosophy they worship Lord Buddha. In India, uh, there is Jainism. Uh, that is almost like Buddhism. They have got also exactly the same uh, process of worship, temple they have got, big, nice, costly temples they have got. And they come to see, uh, visit the temple, offer uh, their uh, worshipful offerings flowers, fruits, everything, same thing. Uh, similarly, uh, in the temple of Gurudwar, six, uh, they have got similar temples like the Hindus, and they also offer flowers, fruits, and sweet meat, but they read their Dhamdasa. As we are reading Bhagavad Gita, they read uh, Dhamdasa enunciated by uh, Guru Nanak. So this temple was the or accepting some authority. Either you accept Krishna or you accept Lord Jesus Christ or Jehovah or Lord Buddha or Guru Nanak. Uh, that is a different, uh, uh, I mean to say, kinds of faith. But this acceptance of authority, authority is there in every place. Now, who is the highest authority? Uh, that we have to see uh, by understanding uh, basic literature, by our arguments, by our sense, by our understanding. Uh, but this acceptance of uh, authority is there. So, uh, dharma sablani means when we defy authority, that is called uh, discrepancy in the discharge 
of uh, religiosity or occupational need. Even in your office, even in the government, if you do not uh, accept authority, there is chaos, uh, there is revolution. Uh, so this sort of mentality is very dangerous. When one does not accept any authority, uh, that is chaotic condition. So uh, Lord Krishna says that dharmasya jada jada hi dharmasya glani bhavati. So dharmasya glani bhavati means one can, uh, there are, uh, I have explained, occupation and duty. Now we have got our present position is in three status. Uh, what is that? Uh, in the gross status of our understanding, we take this gross body as myself. At that time, my dharma or occupation or duty is different. When I accept as my as myself, then my occupation and duty becomes different. But when I understand that I am spirit soul, then my occupation and duty is different. Here, Krishna, because he is supreme soul, supreme personality of Godhead, he means that dharma or occupation and duty on the spiritual planet. He does not mean dharma or occupational duty on the gross bodily platform or subtle mental platform. He means dharma, uh, uh, the occupational duty uh, on the spiritual platform. And that is confirmed by uh, Lord Chaitanya, Jivair Sarupaya Nitya Krishna Bhaj. That uh, real constitutional position of the living entity, uh, especially of the human being, uh, is to accept servitancy of Krishna. So, uh, in other words, when there is discrepancy in the matter of Krishna consciousness, at that time Krishna comes. Krishna descends. Krishna descends. Krishna descends means sometimes he personally descends, sometimes he, he, he descends by his incarnation, sometimes he descends as a sound vibration, sometimes he descends as the body. There are many uh, different categories of his descendants. And at the present moment, the Krishna has descended uh, in his holy name. Uh, you should understand this. Uh, Krishna, holy kale, nam rupe Krishna avata. This is the uh, statement of Lord Chaitanya. That in this age of Kali, Krishna has descended in the Sound vibration form. Uh, sound is also one of the forms. This Lanka is a form of Krishna. Uh, Akshara nam Ankarasmi. Similarly, Krishna now, at the present moment, has descended in the uh, form of his holy name. His name and he is there is no difference. So, uh, why? Jada Jada hi dharma sampani bhavati bharata. People are now forgetting his relationship with God. Now, this incarnation of Krishna in the form of his holy name, this chanting of Krishna will deliver. Uh, all people of the world from the forgetfulness. Uh, this is uh, contributed uh, uh, by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 
फलिताले नाम रूपे कृष्णा होता यहा हई थे सार्वसृष्टि हई वे तो चांट आर इतिहासिस्ट विथ दी चांटिंग आर फॉली नेम ऑफ कृष्णा देन ईज गेट दे है परफेक्शनल स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ एंड वी शुड एक्सेप्ट द कृष्णा हैज डिसेंडेड एट दिस प्रेसेंट मोमेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इज फॉलिंग नेम Thank you. Any question? Like stuff you got. For example, when uh, the chanting of the name of Krishna is accepted, is there another way to describe it? According to Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, uh, there are different processes in different ages, but each process is as good as in, uh, in any age. It is not that the chanting of Hare Krishna is in this age very effective and it was not effective in the Satsajiva. It is not like that. Uh, the real process is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Kritija Dhyato Vishnu Kritam Yajato Mahai Dhapare Parishad Jayam Kalotad Hari Kirtana. Kalotad Hari Kirtana. It is not that that uh, people who are not chanting in the Satsajiva Uh, in uh, uh, Sattva Juga, the holy name of Krishna. It is not that. But in this age, the process adopted in the Sattva Juga, uh, dhyata, the meditation, that is not possible. Uh, the, uh, uh, in the Sattva Juga, because people are living at that time one hundred thousands of years. And It is said that Mahamuni Balmiki he meditated for meditated for sixty thousand years. So unless we have a sufficient light, uh, the meaning is that meditation process is difficult, uh, and you must have uh, sufficient time to practice it, and then come to the Standard point of meditation, but in this age, uh, such kind of perfection in meditation is not possible. Therefore, in this age, especially recommended that we sit down together and uh, chant Hare Krishna. Uh, it is very easy; anyone and everyone can take part in it. Uh, uh, there is no necessity of education. Of pre-qualification, and because in this age people are very slow, uh, very unfortunate, uh, badly associated, uh, so many uh, qualification they have got at the present moment. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has uh, introduced, according to Asra, according to the indication of the Asra, that when the Shrimad Bhagavatam and another Purana. And other Vedic scripts that this is relevant. In Kali Santaram Upanishad, in Brahmanda Puran, in Bayu Puran, uh, these uh, chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, is relevant. See, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu simply introduces as a uh, great preparation. That is. Otherwise, uh, this is recommended in every age. Uh, there are many devotees who are chanting, but the process of meditation is uh, not possible. Therefore, simply on the basis of this process, one can attain the highest perfection. Uh, 
by North Sea and Mahaprabhu. He should fill it. Uh, revelation of uh, spiritual knowledge. Uh, it's the fullest revelation of spiritual knowledge. Yes, yes. How come it's been in the state of uh, people in general are less intelligent than uh, in this particular area they have received the fullest revelation of knowledge? Why not in the subject? The fullest revelation of knowledge uh, in Sattva Yuga, there was automatic end. People were so advanced, just like gradually we are declining our memory, duration of age, so many facilities were declined. Uh, so in Sattva Yuga, people were by nature uh, fortunate to have many facilities. So, for these days, when we are in very fallen condition, these facilities offer so that we can take the same advantage as people in the Sattva Yuga had by other processes. They are not agreeing with so I will always, 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 always say that the uh, meaning of that which has to change. That is real life. Just like uh, the spirit soul is eternal, similarly the spirit soul natural occupation is also eternal. That cannot be changed. But when the spirit soul identifies himself with this body and the mind, that is changed. Just like at the present moment, you have got American body. So, your dharma or your occupational duty is different from another body. And the next life, if you change this body, you become, say, other uh, animal or human being, then your uh, uh, occupational duty changes. Uh, but if you uh, pick up, to the uh, spiritual platform, then that service more of uh, to the Supreme Personality of Godhead will never change, either in this body or next body. Last Krishna says that out of many, many thousands of people, one becomes interested in perfection of life. And out of many, many thousands of persons who have attained perfection, they can understand Krishna. So Krishna understanding is also a very difficult. Krishna is personally explaining himself, his devotees are presenting Krishna consciousness movement and right manner, but people are unfortunate. Uh, it is just, but it is our duty to come up. That is our business. Uh, either they may accept or not accept, it is our duty. Uh, just like in the university, sometimes uh, some particular class is maintained even at a loss. So there is no question of loss and gain. It is our duty to serve Krishna, therefore we shall go on trying, trying for it to distribute Krishna call. Yeah. 
Subhadra is the relationship. Subhadra is the sister of Krishna and the incarnation of Buddha. Yes. 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 Yes
ठीक अवैध क्लियर नॉट क्लियर इसे है और इस डिबी का क्या वन स्टैंड सेम एंड इज वन कृष्णा सेम एंड इज वन कृष्ण शक्ति परापक्षा तो इन रिलेशन सी टू कृष्णा देर इज नो डिस्टिंगशन ऑफ एनर्जी बट फॉर आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी कैन टेक दट इट इज वर्किंग समटाइम्स इन ए इंफीरियर क्वालिटेटिव फॉर्म जस्ट लाइक इन दिस मटीरियल वर्क एंड समटाइम्स इट इज वर्किंग इन सुपीरियर क्वालिटेटिव फॉर्म इन स्पिरिचुअल वर्क the same thing that uh, electric energy sometimes working for cooling sometimes working for heating but uh, to the uh, engineer of electric energy we generate uh, for him there is no such thing but those who are using it uh, that thing thing it is uh, uh, hot it is cool The energy is the same. Try to understand in this. Krishna's energy, uh, he cannot, uh, I would say, uh, distribute any inferior energy because he is not inferior. He is always superior, spiritual. Therefore, his energy is always spiritual. But it is uh, working for different purposes. The material energy, uh, I, I can give you. Uh, another example, just like in the street light, uh, there is a red light uh, and green light and yellow light. The yellow light is, uh, I would say, seen sometimes, but either the red light or the green light is always. But it is working under the same electric energy. Sometimes it appearing green, sometimes appearing yellow, sometimes appearing red. But on the background, the same energy. Now, now by red light you have to stop. By green light you can start. Your your activity is becomes different by different light. But the light is acting and by the same energy. The Bhagavad Gita I did also say that Maya Bhakti na Prakriti Shyati is a Tarasaram. In the Brahma Sangita also it is said, Chai was a sub Bhunani Vivati Dukkha. He is also acting under Krishna's direction. The house is an inferior. Just like the criminals they are thinking that this police department is inferior or very bothering. It is in relation to it me, but police department is not an inferior department of the God. It has to act like that. Similarly, material energy has to act to uh, build the living entity. That is uh, that is uh, under the direction of Krishna. A, we living entity under the material energy, we wanted to lord it over the material nature. So Krishna has given as facility our life. You try to, because you cannot uh, lord it over. This is false. But I have got the tendency to lord it over the material nature. So he is giving me the chance. But actually I cannot. Uh, Jara Vidya Sab Mayar Muiva. Now, in the modern trend of civilization, we are trying to control over the material nature. But actually, we are being limited. We try to control one law, and we are being limited by another law. So, the scientists, like Professor Einstein, they thought. Defeated. Uh, that, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. 
परम अवस्था बद बोध जाए सो लॉन्ग वी आर इन इग्नोरेंस हाउ दिस लॉज ऑफ नेचर वर्किंग अंडर द सुप्रीम डिरेक्शन सो आवर स्टडी अबाउट दिस मटेरियल नेचर लॉ इज डिफीट देयर इज स्टडी इन सो मच वाइन वी अंडरस्टैंड एज इट इज स्टेटेड इन द भगवत गीता जब मया धक्षेन प्रकृति इत्यादि सत्ता so that is the real understanding to understand the law maker not to be stuck with wonder with the activities of the law but now they are concerned with the background law maker and if you know the law maker then automatically you know the laws how they are acting this mean vigyate सर्वेवं विज्ञातम अंडरस्टैंड कृष्णा इन परफेक्ट एंड वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इज एनर्जी डिफरेंट एनर्जी आर वर्किंग एंड बिकॉज ऑल एनर्जी आर वर्किंग अंडर द डिरेक्शन ऑफ कृष्णा बिकॉज इट इज इन टच विथ कृष्णा दैट फॉर नथिंग इज Inferior or material, everything is free. There is a higher platform. Therefore, one can understand Sarvam Kaliram Brahma. Whatever is uh, acting in the Vishnu Purana, so the same thing is confirmed. For us, the Brahman Shakti, uh, Jayadam or Kiram Jagat. Uh, whatever we are experiencing. That is simply action and reaction of the different energy of the supreme law. For us, the Brahmana Shakti, there is some abhinam yoga. So, when we understand Krishna perfectly, then the distinction of superior and inferior will disappear. Just like. and uh, some fruit you are purchased you are purchased from the market and some you are eating so it is called inferior energy the same fruit you offer to krishna is this is called superior energy now how the same fruit becomes immediately from inferior condition to superior because it is of fact krishna you follow because it is of fact krishna ordinary rise one say it is vast by which they prasad if a man may a question how it has become prasad it is vast right no because it is of fact krishna therefore it has changed its quality Some inferior to the people. So anything engaged in the service of Krishna, it is to be. The hand and everything is serving Krishna. So those who are uh, highly elevated, uh, understand. But that is not to be imitated. For them, uh, there is no higher or lower or superior inferior. Everything he sees in Krishna connection. That is why he has stage of life. That is not me. Uh, <coughs> actually, uh, when one is perfectly uh, spiritually alive, uh, for him uh, there is no such distinction inferior or superior. Everything in connection with Krishna is to be. Krishna consciousness is the main principle. 
who is acting. The person who is acting, if he is in Krishna consciousness, then whatever is acting, that is spiritual. That is Maya. When you start with Maya, and then you get misery, just like a, a man who is serving in the prison house, he is also serving the government. That he is in misery. That is karma. He is also serving. That, that is explained by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jivel Sharupa Nitya Krishna Da. When he is serving favorably, he is happy. When he is serving unfavorably, or being forced, and that is not what he is. That is Maya. He has to serve. That is his consciousness position. Either outside or inside. But he cannot but serve Krishna. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Jive Sarupa and Nitya Krishna, that is eternally serving. Either he understands or not understands. He is servant. But when he is serving consciousness, uh, consciousness, then he is uh, deriving the real problem. And that is Krishna consciousness. Now, yes. Yeah. 